Do not alter anything on the chalkboard. Well, what if I think of something better? Which would be almost impossible not to do. You will not think of something better because new baconings is perfect. It's hilarious, right? You know what? I'm taking the chalk. Guys, it's time for a new series. I'm going to be going through every single recipe in the Bob's Burgers Burger Book. If you're just like me, you probably love Bob's Burgers. I love everything about the show. I recently watched the movie, it was incredible, which inspired me to go ahead and start this series. If you're not familiar with the series, Bob is a um, struggling cook who works at his restaurant with his family. And every single day, even though things are going, frankly, not very good, he uh, comes up with a burger of the day because he always wants to be creative and never just phoned it in, which is something that I really, that really inspired me and honestly everything he does in his life even though he's a fictional character uh, really resonates with me I'm gonna go straight through the entire list one through I think 71 I think there's 71 different recipes in this in this cookbook and we're gonna hit them all to kick us off we're gonna start with the first recipe in the book which is the new bacon eats burger for this recipe it's gonna be very simple they start off pretty easy we're going to need lettuce tomato onion red onion specifically bacon and buns oh and some ground beef obviously oh and I forgot cheddar cheese Cannot forget the cheddar cheese, guys. I, it's really important to this meal, so gotta get the cheddar cheese. Let's just go. Pull me back. Let's get started. We're gonna be cutting it down vertically to make large rings, as one does. As one does. Next step we're going to be doing is we're going to cook the bacon and then we'll do the burger and then we'll toast up the buns and it'll all come together perfectly. I might add a little mayonnaise, I'm not sure. I like mayonnaise on mine. Probably not even mustard or ketchup because I'm not that kind of guy, but uh, salt, pepper, the works, you know, let's, let's do it. I'll show you the steps and the way that I build it. Best look, best taste, best form factor, best crunch. Gotta lay down the mayonnaise, bottom bun. I almost messed up really big guys, I forgot the cheese. Just put it back on the grill, or I put it back on the stove top real fast, covered it, just brought some steam up, melted it real quick. We're right back in it, no big deal, we've got it covered. Take your lettuce, put it on top of the mayonnaise. Take your bottom patty without the cheese, stack it. Tomato. So the burger became kind of a behemoth. I wasn't expecting to get this big. I may mess up a little bit, maybe one patty went better. But my, obviously my eyes were bigger than my stomach and it's gonna get a little intense. But I'm gonna try to eat this whole thing 
And I think it turned out really beautiful. Uh, it looks delicious, so I'll give it a shot. Oh, that was good. That was so good. The double patty was a little too much. A little too much. But, man, is it good. With the said, we nailed the first one. We're going to do the second one soon. Come back for more. And we're going to make it all the way through every single recipe in this book. I promise. I love you guys. I'll see you later.